Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Italy versus Germany. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Giorgio Chiellini starts alongside Leonardo Bonucci in central defence. Lorenzo Insigne starts with Domenico Berardi on the flanks. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Ciro Immobile. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Kai Havertz starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And the focal point in attack today, Timo Werner. And so the battle commences. The attack looks promising. Crisp tackling. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Müller. Timo Werner. This is Müller. Sané. Could be troublesome. What's he going to do here? Müller. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Barella. On to Jorginho. Immobile. Now Verratti. In behind for him to chase. Magnificent from the keeper, fantastic stop. Well, opting for the short corner. A textbook interception and the keeper will happily collect that one Müller Leroy Zane an awful lot of green space to run into oh great attacking play it might still be problematic and not cleared away properly. In it goes at the second time of asking and the keeper feels hung out to dry.
Well, here's the replay, and this is what you're always told as a kid. Go for the far post, make it difficult for the keeper, and then hope your teammate is ready for any rebound. He does exactly that, and they get their reward. What a good goal that was. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Domenico Berardi. Possession one. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Well, he's certainly been warned, Stuart. No more challenges like that. Well, he's in no doubt now. He can't foul again. Magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, they fancy a short one. Cuts it back. Making sure it didn't get past him. Tilo Kera. Gundogan. Excellent vision. Werner. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Keen to take it short here. Muller. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Tidy on the ball. Promising move from Germany. Müller. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So, 2-0 now. Chiro Immobile. Verratti. Good tackle, take it away. Well, as you can see, Germany have had the majority of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Verratti. 
Berardi has it. Takes it on. There it is. A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope they can turn this round. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. That is that for the first half here. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Yeah, he's played pretty well, to be fair. He's looked confident and assured on the ball, but he's going to need a helping hand if they are to turn this around in the second half. Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Barella. Chiro Immobile. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Splendid defending and it needed to be. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. Giovanni Di Lorenzo Barella has it Verratti Lorenzo Insigne and back with Insigne excellent defending breaking at pace Gundogan moving into the advanced position Havertz what's he going to do here Müller and a goal calls for celebrations again two in front Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Throw-ins given. Leroy Zane. Zane. Müller. Zane. Now Müller. Gives it a go. And the keeper got there. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. And a no-nonsense clearance. Müller magnificent challenge to win it back 
Emerson. Lorenzo Insigne. And the emphasis is on creativity. And let's give credit to the defending. Just 15 minutes remaining. Werner. And fed forwards. And can they make one of these passes count? And this might not be the ideal situation for them. And Kai Havertz. Now Müller. Werner. Now Müller. And the flag is up for offside. Error in judgment, you might say. Oh, he's got to let that run. He must have known he was in an offside position. And time for the change now. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Here's Insigne. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? Well, the card is out and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Giving it straight to the opposition. Five minutes to go. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Sané. Still going here, Sané. But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Jorginho. A chance to whip it in. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. You've got to conclude that he'll be proud of. I'm talking, of course, about Thomas Müller. Well, he should be happy with his goal and the win, but he'd be slightly annoyed that he hasn't scored a couple more. Overall, though, I thought he was excellent.